It begins with a large tortilla. Cut a strip from the middle where it's widest and free this long rectangle from the useless wedges that surround it. This is how we start our journey towards creating the perfect food. The hardest part is folding an angle of equal thirds, but if you folded a piece of paper into thirds for a letter or pamphlet, you know the principle. Approximate and then adjust until you reach equality. In the case of the tortilla, to get an equilateral triangle, you fold an angle rather than an edge. Be sure your folds meet at a point, one corner of a triangle. Unlike paper, the soft and delicious tortilla is forgiving, adjusting easily rather than creasing and crumpling. Continue folding one triangle on top of another. Pinch each fold to give it a crease. Ten triangles are necessary. Remove the extra. Arrange the strip of triangles into a hexagon. Note that the folds naturally want to go the same way you creased them. This will help you to arrange the overlap so that it is symmetric, woven together in the same way you would fold the flaps on top of a box to support each other. In paper, I might use nine triangles and then a piece of tape. For tortilla, use ten and attach the first to the last. Score the tortilla lightly with a knife to rough it up and then use your fingers to wet it with water. The water combines with the flour in the tortilla and by pressing the triangles firmly to one another they are effectively glued together. Thus, a tortilla hexaflexagon is created. It can be flexed by pinching two triangles together and pushing in the opposite side to get a flat three-armed shape, then opening up the inside. However, it is imperfect for it is not yet delicious. Luckily, there are several sophisticated tools with which to remedy this problem, the first of which is guacamole. I start with the easily spreadable ingredients, which can be folded flat into the hexaflexagon. Flex it by lifting the three parts with the flappy foldy creases and fold them to the inside. Then the bottom can be opened up and the flexagon is once again ready to be piled with delicious ingredients, the precious guacamole being stowed safely within the folds. After adding beans and cheese, your hexaflexamexagon is ready for consumption. To eat, flex only halfway and bite the delicious exposed triangular pockets of Flexmex perfection. As you can see, the ingredients tend to leak slightly out of the folds of the flexagon. This is expected and unavoidable, as the nature of the burrito is to be a delicious leaking mess regardless of whether it is cylindrical or hexaflexagonal. As your next Flexmex project, consider the humble crane guarding her flavorful nest. 